breakthrough episode for this year, let's go with Randall Carlson because he's such an incredible teacher of information and knowledge. And I mean, the way that he explains things just makes it very understandable for people to, yeah. to digest. Agreed. The biggest earthquake in North America was the great earthquake in Alaska of 1964. And that was about right at just about nine on the Richter scale. So there were earthquakes at the end of the last ice age that were a hundred times greater times. than that. Wow. Virtually all of them are based upon somehow the glaciers themselves shape the subglacial till. In the 1980s, a geologist by the name of John Shaw, he was a Canadian geologist, proposed that they were actually created by catastrophic subglacial floods. So what happens is meltwater gets to a point where it reaches a certain volume, it disappears. And then a week later, two weeks later, it's discharging from the snout. And they know that because they'll put dye tests, they call it dye testing. They put the dye, colored dye in the water, it disappears, and then they go to the snout to the glacier and here comes the colored water discharging. The peak discharge that created Grand Coulee, it might have been 350 million cubic feet per second. We haven't seen anything like that in modern times. And I think part of it, the reason is, is modern times is a function of post-Ice Age meltdown. The two of the greatest floods in North America were apparently happening simultaneous. The Bonneville flood is a giant flood that originated from the outburst of Lake Bonneville. This flood burst out and carved out the modern-day Snake River over deep in Tells Canyon, which is the deepest canyon in North America. And then the floodwaters of Bonneville met the floodwaters of Missoula, just south of Lewiston, Idaho. The possibility that there's a whole lost history of the human species on this planet. One reason that they're primarily lost is what we've just been seeing here, this dynamic nature of the planet. We've been talking about these great mega floods, right? That is one of the most ubiquitous of all stories and legends found around the planet. Over 100, 120 at least documented from different cultures. 